Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. My name's Kira. Subscribe if you're new and without further ado, let's get into today's video. So today I'm gonna take you on a vlog. This is my second vlog ever. I'm gonna take you to the pumpkin patch with me. And then after that, I'm gonna give you some poetry regs. So if you like to read, stay tuned. something. Could it do what it is, what it ain't, what it isn't? Okay. <laughs> what did she say to It looks just like her room. Look. I'm gonna insert a picture of my room in the video. This is the rug where you sit and meditate right here. This is the rug where I sit and meditate? Yeah, this is the mirror where you take all your thirst traps. Where I do what? Take all your thirst traps. There you go. Get in the thirst trap then. Not what they wanna see. You're gonna learn a spell. I know all the spells. One taste of the poison apple and the victim his eyes will close forever in the sleeping death. Damn. They really be taking my spells like that. You guys, um, I would like to record an account of plagiarism. I just read a spell that I created in there. This witch's lair, they're making money off of my spell. I don't know who I need to speak to. That's the piece of the game. Serves as well. Your time is up. Rest in paradise. It's like Harry Potter number four. Yeah, sure. Goblet of Fire. Wow. We love a man who can navigate. It feels so good to be free. <laughs> We've been there for so long. I thought we would never make it out. This feels incredible. Smiling. I am. You're not. I can't go. You're not smiling. You're lying to me. I am. I'm trying to pick a pumpkin, and in the process, I'm wondering if this how this is how men evaluate women. This one's nice and plump. Got some smooth skin. This one's got baggage, but we like her. She's dirty. Thank you. Hey, what's up you guys? So I went to Indigo yesterday and I got a bunch of stuff. And then as I was in there, I was finding other poetry books that I used to read. So it made me think, ooh, I should do like a poetry book, like recommendation slash, I wouldn't call this a haul. I got three books, but. You know what I mean. Okay, I have three favorite poetry books. I cannot find the third one right now because I moved and I don't I don't know where it is. The first one, Helium by Rudy Francisco. This is a must read for everyone. For everyone, this is a black man though, so if you're a black man, specifically you, but everyone should read this. Um, everyone though, literally everyone needs to read this. And I, I used to be a weirdo, still am, but I really used to be a weirdo in a cool way though. I used, <laughs> I'm so annoying. Um, when I was like, I don't know, 12, 13, I used to go on YouTube and like just watch spoken word poetry for so long, like for hours. And I would watch the same ones over and over and over again. And there is one that I remember, there's a, um, this thing called button poetry, you may have heard of it. Like a lot of spoken word poetry goes viral from button poetry's page. I used to watch this one called, what's it called? Oh, oh my, 
I opened it up to the exact page. It's called Scars. Oh my God. Anyway, so I picked this book up and this wasn't yesterday, this was like years ago. I picked this book up at Indigo, or it might have been chapters back then, I don't remember. But I picked it up and I was scrolling through and I saw this poem and as I started reading it, I was like, I know this. Why do I know this? And it started like, I like started like tearing up because it started like playing in my head, like his voice because I used to listen to this poem over and over because I downloaded them. I would download them onto my iPod and like just listen to them from my iPod, the spoken word poems. But like, oh my God, I'll, I'm gonna link, I should link it down below the video because I watched it so many times, but his voice, it's the way he reads it too. Like, cause some people, I mean, I, I don't know, but I feel like some people are better at just writing poetry and then some people are writers, but also speakers. You know what I mean? But, oh my god. It's, I can read it the exact way he says it. Nuts to me. You need to read this book. It's got a lot of good, like, funny love things, but also a lot of funnily put, but not funny race things. Um, there's one where he says being black is an extreme sport, and he's, like, comparing how white people love extreme sports, and he's like, being black is an extreme sport on its own. Anyway, but read this book. Like, I, I know the exact way he says it is in my head that feeling is so satisfying oh my gosh to read something that you already know and it comes out in that person's voice you're like i also like messaged him on snapchat a lot like when i was like a teenager i was like i really love your work and he said thanks the next one i want to recommend is called patricide by dave harris can you see yeah, I got this one, I think, last year. Ooh, I love when I dog ear things. This one was crazy to me because it was all about, a lot of it was about his father and how much he hates his father and what his father, like, did to his mother and stuff like that. But it's it's crazy the way he has, like, him, his father, and he's kind of, uh, if I, correct me if I'm wrong, but he's kind of relating that to, like, God and the father. And then there's, like, the <laughs> He talks about like killing his father but he's not being serious but he like switches them it's just really interesting the way he does it like these are like the poems where i'm like why didn't they make us read these in high school like i don't understand why we had to read i get i sort of get why they make us read like really old stuff like shakespeare and stuff but that it's just so it's very arbitrary to me like Pretty much all of those story i mean uh, some of the plays you know obviously get interesting but i don't know Th this kind of stuff it just it grabs me a lot more and i wish that's something i always wish is like in high school english classes they weren't so hell-bent on reading the classics because there's so much stuff coming from new authors and young people and black people and women I don't think I ever read a woman or someone who wasn't white or then one time in one class, we read an indigenous author. Um, we read a book called Green Grass Run Running Water. It was a fantastic book. That was the only book that I actually read the entire thing for English class because the rest of them, I would start reading them and I would kind of just like read enough to be able to answer the questions or spark notes it because I was bored and I was tired of reading about old white men and I was tired of reading in their their lingo and those things that I didn't understand. I was just tired of it. Um, but something like this would have made me want to read. <laughs> you know what I mean? The last one I want to recommend is the one that I can't find. And I'm really upset because she is another Canadian author and she is another person that I saw first on Button Poetry years ago. Um, I can't remember what that spoken word is called. I think it's called um, telling my mother I have depression or something like that. And it's 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 viral, but um, yeah, she's from, I'm not sure where exactly she's from, but I know she's from Canada. And I don't know if she lives, I don't think she lives here anymore though. Or she, she moved for a while because some of her poems, like she was in the South, but some of her poems she was talking about Tim Hortons. Um, yeah, but really, really, really beautiful. And yesterday when I was in um, Indigo, I'll insert the book 
it's called uh, Depression and Other Ma Magic Tricks. But um, I guess that it was also published by Button Poetry, and I guess that did really well. So then Indigo is doing like another special on it, and they made it a hardcover. Um, and it has a different forward, and I just read the forward because I thought I already had the book. Now I'm like, I should probably should have just bought the new book because I don't know where the other one is. But um, in the forward, she well, the forward was beautiful. I just uh, she, but there was a part in the forward that I literally want to get tattooed on me, like literally. It said, "I've learned to pray with my body." Some might call this dancing. serious you're really just gonna describe my entire life in two sentences are you kidding me I like literally like I started welling up tears I was like because you know when you have a feeling but you literally can't word it and then you don't even recognize that you can't word it until you hear someone word it super beautiful so the first book I got is called Life of the Party. I haven't read these yet, but um, it's very easy for me to tell like right away if I'm gonna like a poetry book. Cause something that I, I'm like very picky about poetry books because I feel like a lot of poetry books, especially the most popular ones, like the R.H. Sin ones, they just kind of like tweet, like they put a line that is very understandable by itself. And they might put another, it's just like commentary like that. I don't, I guess it's all poetry, but it's like too, I feel like if you can read it once and get like all that it has in it, it's not really poetry. You're just talking, you know, I mean, who am I to be a poetry snob? Really no one, but I think it needs to have like a little bit more depth and be a little bit more intricate for it to really qualify as poetry for me. I don't know if that makes sense. And I like my poetry to be blunt. I don't like it to be like sappy and like, you were the stars and I was the moon. Like it has to be, I don't know, like kind of dark, funny, and just like a whoa. Like I like to read stuff and be like, I'm gonna go cry. You know what I mean? So this was a, this seemed like a good one from that, from the things that I read. Oh, by the way, this is by um, Olivia Gatwood. And she looks, she looks cool. Doesn't she look cool? Can this focus? Oh, I'm, I'm not a real YouTuber. Anyway, but um, she looks like someone I'd wanna be friends with. It really takes, like you can really tell from the first page you randomly open a poetry book if it's like for you or it's not. Like the, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, the like princess, the princess um, saves herself in this one, the mermaid finds her voice in this one. Um, those series by, I think her name's Amanda Lovelace. I literally bought the book. I read the whole thing in an hour and I was like, this is not poetry and I literally returned it. Is that snobby? I don't know. But I just felt like it was just like, it was like cheesy and obvious, like, ooh, like girl power, like in the most like white feminist, obvious like way that I was like, why did I get this? I actually got it as a gift, but yeah, I read the whole thing and then returned it. Sorry. The next book I bought is called Things No One Else Can Teach Us by Humble the Poet. I've come across this man on Instagram. I did not know that he is Canadian, which made me way more inclined and feel connected to him because I'm Canadian. Um, this isn't a poetry book, but he is a poet. But he, I think he's just kind of giving advice, but I don't know, I was reading stuff and I was like, ooh, yeah, I need this. And it's got like little, you know, nuggets of wisdom in poetry form, but it's mostly like, I think it's quote unquote a self-help book, which I actually am really into. So yeah, but I just, I don't know. It looks dope. I know he's dope and I'm really into like thought work and reading thought leaders and stuff like that. So yeah, brings me to my next one. Gabrielle Bernstein is the woman. She is the bomb.com. This book is called Super Attractor. Um, you know, it's just about manifesting and stuff like that. She's really sick. Like She's um, number one New York Times bestselling author. She's like, uh, Oprah talks about her a lot. I think she has like, she has some kind of partnership with the O Network, I don't know. But if she's, oh, the reason I was like really about this book, I already have a different one of her books, but 
If you know who Deepak Chopra is, he's a really, really, really big deal. And he put a test, can this focus? He put a testimonial about her book, about this book. And I was like, okay, if it's Deepak Chopra certified, like, what do I know that Deepak Chopra doesn't? Nothing, literally, I know nothing that he doesn't know. So those are the things that I bought. Those are all of my poetry recommendations for now. Um, yeah, I'll link those videos below that I just mentioned. But thank you so much for watching this vlog. Um, yeah, and I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye.